Hello everybody, it's your boy Andy from Hamster Flag, and today I'm coming at you with a video, uh, another video on Fury, but this one was requested by Mr. 1Timothy315. Um, he wanted me to go over my rotation, as well as some general tips and tricks to uh, get into 2k, playing double DPS. It is really hard to pull off just because uh, you have limited opportunities for kills and sometimes based on the matchup it may not be very favorable and you get stuck in a rock paper scissors type of scenario where you're just not gonna have a good time like generally uh, for us it's been against like paladins more specifically holy paladins because of the fact that they have two bobs, two sacks, what have you. But they are getting nerfed, which is great news. They're not gonna have two sacks anymore. It's, uh, they're only gonna have two freedoms and two, um, two bob. But, regardless, let's get into it. So I already kinda went over my talents in my guide video I put out a few days ago. And you know, what I change up during what scenarios, but this is generally my, my build. This is what I run. If I'm running PvE, I, I will swap fresh meat out for Endless Rage, but this is not that video. I will leave a link to that in the description, I don't know if I've said that already or not, but I will do that. And just remember guys, like I, I do like seeing questions come up, because especially with a, a very niche group of double DPS grinding 2k, I, I understand the struggle man. I do have clips to show you guys this time, because I do the weekly again. Uh, box you can get in Xandalar But I'll show you my, my burst macro real quick. I, I don't really have a name for it. it I just slap my hand on the keyboard. And I'll leave the format in the description as well You have show tool tip and then your your racial if you have one if you're an orc, it's blood fury uh, You can put your troll ratio in here maghar orc if you're alliance playing dark iron dwarf you could do that. I don't really remember if any other alliance races do have actives or not but i mean that's besides the point you put your active ratio up there if you have one and then you put your re your recklessness and then your trinket and i also went over why you can only have one active and one passive but okay let's let's just get into this um i'm gonna set this guy's focus real quick that's gonna be a control target now generally speaking this is kill target we're gonna charge in there, we're gonna hit Bloodthirst right away because we wanna get our movement speed. And then we're gonna go straight into two Raging Blows because we wanna get our Frothy- or Battle Trance, my bad. It looks just like Frothing Berserker, so it, it really does mess with me, but we're gonna get our Battle Trance going off and that's gonna give us Rage as well as HP over the duration. Uh, and let's paint the scenario like this, let's say this guy's a rogue is chilling in stealth. Um, I believe I did get a clip of this, but let's believe, let's pretend like that guy is a rogue in stealth, and this guy is his healer. Um, if you're playing with a rogue like I am, your rogue's gonna be stealth too, and I generally have to slap around the healer or the kill target um, until the other guy comes out. So, anyway, I'm gonna charge, bloodthirst, double raging blow, and then by then we should get another bloodthirst. Uh, and that should put us at Rampage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a timer of like 8 seconds. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Slash timer. Yeah, we'll have that right here. So as soon as I, I connect and uh, we, we charge, I'm gonna try to just hit this and then start getting into the rotation. So 1, 2, 3, go. Alright. So double. And I'm gonna get one right here. So five seconds, six, three, seven, and bam! We got the stun. Well, now we're gonna fear this guy, um, and then we're gonna pop cooldowns here, because by then we usually get trinket. And then it's really just whatever you got available. If you have nothing to press, you hit whirlwind, because whirlwind gives you. Um, Rage. I don't know if you guys knew that, uh, but you gotta be careful. You don't want to do that when you're close to someone that is sheeped, sapped, blinded. Um, you know, anything you can break just by hitting them. You don't want to do that. You want to be very careful of that. Um, 
but yeah that's, that's more or less what it looks like obviously um you know you can get a disarm but disarm doesn't work on these dummies see pressing it for me it's six won't well, won't do it um and i don't know why sometimes my focus fear doesn't go off that's why you guys saw me like click on it real quick and then get off of it normally i just tab but i mean i have it set to Gotta keep bindings real quick. Targeting. Um, target nearest enemy player, right here. Yeah. So it's not gonna let me just tap target anything that's near me. It's specifically just for players. Uh, that's also, you know, probably one of the tips I'm, I'm gonna give you guys. Uh, swap that straight to enemy players. That way, you know, if you're finding a, sh a shaman that has like totem mastery and drops the four totem, do not, you know, accidentally going over those or pets or elementals. Um, like, you know, because even if, if they do have like cap totem dropped and they have a bunch of other stuff, you're going to be, you're not going to be very accurate. It's better to just click it, kill it. I think they removed the, uh, the ability to make a macro that just targets a totem. But yeah, that, that's generally the rotation uh, with this build. I'll go over it again very slowly, and then, you know, I'll give you guys a good idea. So it's Charge, Bloodthirst, two Raging Blows. If you get this at all, you hit it. And then you can do a Raging Blow, another Bloodthirst, two Raging Blow. Now we're gonna pop cooldowns right here. Uh, this is gonna be burst into siege into uh, dragon's roar. So burst, siege, dragon's roar, and then rampage. Anytime you get procs, just keep hitting them, man. Like that's general rule. I mean, if you get lucky, like I did right there, that's that's a fat like rampage just off of one basically back to back. But yeah, um, you just want to keep your rage up, stay on top of the target. Hit your rampages as soon as you can uh, find a, a window to do that. Just rage them on them. Yeah, that's it for the rotation. Uh, for CC chain, obviously, like I said, you want to disarm if you can. If you see that they're trying to poly you, cyclone you, what have you, uh, reflect that real quick and then follow it up immediately with a stun. Keep an eye on the stun. And then, you know, fear them. And for me, as soon as I do fear, they typically do trinket. Sometimes they trinket dumb things, and that just makes it even easier for us. But usually they do trinket the fear, and then that's followed up by an immediate blind by my rogue. And then by then, uh, usually I have, have storm bolt up again, and I can at least do that, and then maybe my disarm will, will be up too, just because it's not that much of a cooldown. But uh, some general tips, find. Good partners like double dps is hard and like i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was a bit of a grind but um, once you guys get the rhythm going once you guys play enough games together especially like for me my partner in this case is my younger brother and he's gonna be making a guide on his side of uh of a comp perspective on playing rogue double dps and what he does for that uh you guys should totally check that out that is going to be on this channel as well and it's important that i note that this is like a joint channel it's uh me him and one other person once she starts making videos i'll introduce her as well but you want to get the right partner or right partners if you're doing threes now look no one's ever going to be perfect right off the start you may have a little bit more experience than them or sometimes they have more experience than you and it's all about patience i mean as long as the person is willing to take constructive criticism and you have to be open of, of that as well because remember it's a team if you're the type of person that sees these windows of opportunity what you could have done differently what you could have done better you should mention that but you know not oh hey man you should have totally done this it's more or less like hey i think the the play would have been to you know maybe stun this guy uh off opener and then go on this guy real quick force and pop cool down and then go back on that guy and as soon as that dude's sack is down or whatever we go back on him you know stuff like that you know it's um it's hard because 
depending on what comp you're running, you might want to use different strategies. You might want to um, approach things differently. Uh, you know, maybe you're going against um, survival healer, and then that guy's running adaptation, and there's no trinket you guys can get. So you're basically wasting either fear or blind if you can't get the sap off. In our case. Um, there are better comps with more CC, but for us, you know, we ran into situations like that. Or when they do have Trinket, I could probably force them to just by stunning them uh, or sometimes disarming them, which is actually kind of funny to me. But, um, yeah, no, you know, just find the right partners. Uh, make sure to give each other good, instructive criticism. And you also have to be able to take that criticism as well, as I've mentioned. That is very important. You have to look at your own mistakes just as much as you look at maybe your partners or whoever you're playing with. Um, you gotta realize there's, there's room to grow all around. It's not just you, you're always perfect and stuff like that. Um, I've called myself out on a couple like screw-ups. I've, I've cost you know, maybe a few games as well. Uh, but it's all part of the process, man. You gotta have patience. Um, and on top of that, maybe, you know, uh, you, you move around your, your talents and stuff. Like, this used to be completely different. I'm not gonna lie to you. I used to have um, this. I used to have this, this, and this. As well as, I think, Blade Storm at all times. This used to be what I ran for some reason, but over time, you know, I got some experience doing this stuff, and eventually it turned into the build you see today. And I, I don't think I even ran this stuff either, but um, I mean, hey, look where it got me 2K. And I have games recorded where I can show you guys more or less. Uh, the, the way it goes i mean you're, you're gonna have some losses for sure uh you're, i mean you're gonna have your streaks as well but you gotta take the losses with a, with a pinch of salt double dps is hard you're gonna have way more losses sometimes than you feel you should have but it's mainly just because the other people can reset consistently they can recover from um you know two people dropping to 20 percent Whereas, you know, double DPS, you may not have a hybrid class playing with you. And even if that's the case, they don't have enough healing output for the both of you. Um, so, you know, just, just keep patient, man. You will get there. You just got to keep working hard. You got to keep pushing for that. But that's generally, like, everything I've done, to be honest with you guys. I've just been uh, staying honest with myself. Uh, trying to help my partner out, try to help um, come up with some strategies. It all comes with time. And as long as you are staying on top of yourself and you're not putting down your partner or putting yourself down, you will get there. Uh, but without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and let it roll to some examples, some clips. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it.
Hopefully, you guys found that very helpful, and remember, ask me as many questions as you want, if there's something you want me to go over a little bit more, or if you want me to show you guys, you know, um, some more tricks, maybe some more footage, uh, if you have any questions about your comp, maybe I can give you a suggestion on what you guys could do, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. This was your boy, Andy from Hamster Flag. Um, don't forget to, you know, do the usual YouTube stuff. Like, comment, uh, subscribe, and turn the bell notification on. You never know when I'm going to make a sporadic video on another class, maybe. It's my shaman that I'm playing in 3v3. I might be getting 2k in turbo. What's up? Anyway, boys, um, that's it for me, and goodbye.